what's going on YouTubers? My name is Robert Serrano Jr. and I am the Natural Born Thriller and welcome everyone to Impact Wrestling Review the show from um, August 30th 2018 and this will be results from Impact Redefined a special event that took place in um, in Montreal, Ontario, Canada and your commentators were Josh Matthews and Don Collins and yeah, this was one of their special uh, pay-per-view TV, free TV uh, event that they that Impact Wrestling always does. And with that being said, let's just jump right just let's jump right into it. Now, that being said, uh, well, actually, I think I think that's say what I was gonna say, but um, yeah, I'm about to run through it right now, folks, and I'll let you know at the end of the video about what what they did here on the show. What comes to this free special event pay-per-view free TV type of thing that they did. But and you know, I used these uh yo know, start you know in a way to to you know to let let uh, impact person have it for this one. But let's get to it. The opening match, the NX, I mean the exhibition championship, the exhibition champion Brian Cage versus Phoenix and he was being accompanied by his brother, Pentagon Jr. The man was zero miedo. So here we go. Matt highlights on the match. Uh, Cage hits the six one nine early on, on the go. Cage takes Phoenix uh, from the apron into um, yeah into the inside and and goes for a huge delay vertical suplex. Nice it was the way it was done too by the way. Phoenix uh, start building up momentum, but Cage shuts him down immediately. Throws him off the, uh, the uh, throws him over the top rope. I'm to say, excuse me, onto the ramp. Nice spot, by the way. Uh, and then Phoenix uh, connects with a, a rolling cutter on the ramp, and then goes for a swan tom bomb for a near fall. Cage hits a super kick, followed by a, un a unique torture rack slam, basically, for a near fall. Phoenix goes for the suicide dive, or should I say the top, top source, yeah, on, on the cage, but Cage catches him and gets, you know, put him in the in suplex position and suplex him on the floor. And then goes for get, and they press a power bomb off the top rope into the ring. And by the way, it, was, it wasn't a, a, perfect, a, a perfect power bomb, but it was still um, pretty um, nasty the way it was done. And Cage gets the, Brian Cage gets a three count in the win to retain his exhibition championship. Now, I was wrong in my prediction. Uh, Cage uh, uh, won. I want him to lose. Uh, you know, because he's better than the exhibition. He doesn't need the exhibition title. He doesn't need to be in the exhibition. Phoenix, it, it's this cost for Phoenix, but unfortunately he didn't win it, so. Damn. But it's still a good match to open up the show. After the, after the match, you got OVE attacking the Lucha Brothers. And then Cage, uh, who's on the rampway, by the way. Basically, what happened here? Cage was on the was on the stage, getting ready to leave, and that's when OVE starts rushing down the ring, bumping into uh, Cage. Cage had one, so then you know, like I said, the beatdown on the um on the, the Lucha Brothers. So Cage was like thinking to himself, uh, it's not my fight, and then he's like, you know what? He has second thoughts of it, and like you know, maybe go out to them. So basically, the sense of uh, you know, Cage also being um, the savior for the Lucha Brothers, and then the Lucha Brothers starts fighting back a little bit. To uh, o the OVE, OVE uh, retreats, and there you go. So uh, I'm assuming that's gonna be the um, a new, uh, um, you know, the few continue on. Well, especially you know, especially when it comes to the OVE against the Lucha uh, Brothers, and then you add in Brian Case to the mix. Awesome. Um, Scarlet Bulldog was um, a, was being a approached by uh, security, right? Well, first he's driving. Uh, Bobo, you know, who's who's driving the car, and this guy, the security, is like you're not on the, not on the list or thing. Uh, as I was trying to say, um, yeah, uh, a vehicle uh, coming out, coming in. Bobo is trying to space the church, the security, to, uh, to let us through, and the security is like you're not on the list or and then and then also on Scarlet Bod uh, Bodox comes out of her of her car. Yo, the car that Bobo was driving because he's a um he's the driving assistant whatever. And as soon as that security uh, sees Scarlet Bulldogs and and, he, and, and the security let, let let them through, 
but now, I guess now apparently she's still on the list, right? Uh, no, because it's, it's, it's because of, the, of a 10 out of 10 uh, presence of Scarlet Dogs. It's, it's will let the security to change his mind about that, so. Uh, we get to a segment where the OGs are talking about what happened with the, um, the young kid, Little Richie, being uh, run down by the OGs, where they were supposed to be um, run, run, they were, they were supposed to run down Conan and the rest of the LAX uh, group guys, right? And, and they uh, run, run him down instead, the little kid. Apparently, the little kid's okay. He's alright. He's uh, he, he, he didn't die. Uh, that, that's what people worry about. I, I was even worried about that too, by the way, to be honest. Uh, like same as the women. They're not, they're not, they're not, gonna, they're not gonna have this kid get killed off of, uh, on their show, are they? You know, even though this kid uh, doesn't have anything to do with this wrestling show, but still. They're not gonna have, they're not gonna say that he died, they. And uh, uh, good, thing they, good thing that he didn't. So, Hernandez, he was feeling regrets about what happened there. And then you have uh, your homicide, uh, like, like, screw that kid. And then, and then, and then, of course, of course, you got King, yo, know, yelling out frustration and everything. It's like, it's like, like toughen up and everything, right? It's, it's like, it's like that kid, that kid got in the way of the crossfire, you know, you know, whatever, right? And Hernandez was like, like, not in everything. You could tell Hernandez was not, well, uh, Hernandez, um, did not, did not, um, like, like what happened there. He did not uh, approve of that. And Hernandez was was a very was a, was very upset about what happened to uh, Lou Richie. So I think Hernandez, uh, I don't know if, they, if it's going to lead to Hernandez leaving uh, the OGs, but uh, that's what it looks like though. Because Hernandez, uh, you know, uh, what's the word? I'm trying to, uh, he got he got he, he got emotional. Well, we have I, I have a little Richie, and think and he said he said something and said we, we went too far. We went we went too far. You know the, the the little kid had nothing to do with this and everything. And and the king, you know, is beside himself that uh, Hernandez is uh, feeling that way. And all of a sudden, uh, King gets a call, a, a call, and then he tells Hernandez and um and Homicide, don't move. I'll, I'll be back and everything. It's like until we get the green, until I give you guys the green light. And I say to myself, what, what's that, what was that about? And we'll get to more about that later. What comes to LEX? Uh, Alicia Adopt. She in the she in the, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, Alicia uh, uh, Adopt. She interviews Tessa Blanchard. Tessa Blanchard, uh, you know who's uh, going up against Ali and Nightcalls Champion, Shin Young, in the, tri- in the, in the three-way for the Nightcalls Championship. So Tessa Blanchard talks about her legendary family and and, you know, and, and says being a, a great athlete is, is not enough. And if you don't ha- have any on the, on the show for it, Tessa Blanchard also said uh, she uh, she is going to take the, uh, the, the title home tonight. And we'll, go, and we'll get to that match when we get to it. Uh, we get a worthless segment with Eli Drake, and I can't believe I'm saying that too, because the way they're uh, them using Eli Drake on the show is fucking garbage. So Eli Drake comes out there. He's kind of promo, but you know, yeah, and, and, and along, along with these two guys who are you know, who, you know, these 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 two these two nobodies, jobbers that beat Dakota Lee, uh, and and they and they introduce their names. Mr. Atlantis and Brandon Diswell, or, or I mean, Brandon uh, Tidwell, I guess, whatever. <laughs> Eli Drake talks, talks about how he wants to challenge one of them into a singles match, and Mr. Atlantis, well, you know, he he wants to do it because he's um he's 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 a little, a little buff, and Eli Drake's like, you know, what? I choose this guy, Brandon uh, Tidell, Tidell, whatever. Well, how do we say his last name? I don't know. And this guy is a, is a shrimp. So Eli Drake basically beats beats him with a gravy, the gravy train, squashes him. And then after the match, uh, you know, Mr. Atlantis gets a gravy train of his own for his trouble. And Eli Drake all of a sudden walks walks away. And that was the segment. Now I I know I said on the, in the preview that they should have a um a prompt to or you know a wild card match uh, for the show 
this is not what I had in mind. This was this was fucking garbage. Also, we go backstage and we see uh, Alicia Adult, and she is interviewing Eddie Edwards and Moose. And basically, they talk about you know. You know, Eddie Edwards has got Moose on side, and then Moose talks about how you know that Eddie Edwards is his family, his you know his, his best friend, all that, and blah blah blah. And he says to Austin Aries and and Cr the Cross, they're gonna they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna yeah, we're, we're prepared for you guys and all that, right? We'll get to that. We'll get to that when we get to the main event. And yeah, there you go. Told my wrestling for our number one, two matches. I mean, on that one match, if you want a call in match, would be like Drake. Whatever. All right, now hour number two. Hour number two will start off with the Knockouts Championship three-way match between the Knockouts Champions to Young being covered by the Undead Brides versus Ali being covered by the the Girl on Fire with a nice outfit that she was wearing by the way, Kiara Hogan versus Tessa Blanchard. So, so. Highest of the match. Ali knocks off Suyong off the apron, but gets but gets on um, catch caught. I meant to say, by the undead brides, and and put back in the ring. Ali uses Tessa Blanchard's back for a springboard to hit Suyong uh, with a flying forearm. Tessa Blanchard connects with a, a cutter onto Ali for a near fall. Suyong climbs the, the top the top rope, but uh, Tessa throws her off the top the, off the top onto the to the undead brides mates on the floor. Su Young goes for the Mambo Claw on Ali, but uh, but she escapes with a cold breaker. Tessa Blanchard rolls Ali up for um, for a hole of the of the tights and scores the the win and becomes the new Knockouts champion. And I see myself, holy shit. Um, well, for actually, uh, it was actually um, when it comes to this match, folks, it was, um, it was actually spoiled for me. Acc but accidentally though. Accidentally, from you know, from one of the asylum members, uh, accidentally uh, scored the match for me. But uh, this match of winning. But hell, I guess Ali, Ali lost, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, this match of wins. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I I, I expect uh, Shion to retain. Um, but yeah, you know what? Tessa Blanchard well deserved. She she deserves it. Congratulations to Tessa Blanchard, new Impact Knockouts Champion. Awesome. Good. Uh, we get to a segment with the Desi Hit Squad. You got Gamma Singh going up to Rahi Raju. Uh, I mean Rohit Raju and uh, and and Grusinder Singh, and basically he's beating them up with a, with a broom. <laughs> oh, it's because you know they haven't won them because they haven't won their matches and all that, right? And he said like, he's like next time you guys are going to win your matches by any means necessary, and he continues hitting him with a broom. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. That was that was funny. But yeah, Gamma, Gamma Singh, man, he, yeah, he, he ain't pulling no punches, man. He, he, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't like losers, and he's, he, he's, and he's showing it, he's showing it. Alicia Adult, she is interviewing the Impact World Champion Austin Aries and Killer Cross, where they're gonna take out Moose and um, Eddie Edwards for a main event tonight. And we'll, again, we'll get to more of that later when we, when we get to that main event. All right, now we get to LEX. So LEX are frustrated with what the OGs did to Lil Richie with the car, the whole car thing, the you know, hit and run thing. And also in Conan gets a mysterious phone call and tells LEX to don't, to don't move. I'll be, you know, I'll, uh, and, you know wait, to, wait for the green light, I'll be right back. So that unseen was away. So, so first King gets called by someone to tell uh, you know, the OGs to, uh, to don't move, I'll be right back. And then you got Conan who's got called by, by someone and, and basically, he, he refer, I think he referred to him as Sir. And I say to myself, so is there someone who's a, a, a beyond the high ups than Conan is? Well, I like, like, I like, I like where this is going. But yeah, basically, so, told uh, yo, yo, LEX did the, uh, the stay put. I'll be right back. And yeah, and that's and that's how it, uh, it ends. So. And Ortiz basically told or, uh, Santana to listen to the boss because or you know Santana he's um 
Ortiz, you know, telling uh, Santana to listen to the boss, and because Santana was losing, was, uh, was losing his mind, he's all pissed off and everything. So, yeah, I don't know what's gonna lead to, but I'm just, I'm interested. I, I'm, I'm intrigued with this storyline. You know, when it comes to all the OGs and, and LDX, yeah, this is um definitely, this is definitely for me. Not, not just because I'm Latino, but because I'm a, I'm a fan of LDX. And also, I'm becoming a, a even, uh, I even, even becoming a fan of the OGs as well. And, and on top of it, the, the feud continues on. But it, it just continues on, you know. Scarlet Bordeaux, she does her, uh, her another episode edition of just the Smoke Show, and it falls Grado again with this time with Joe Hendry and Katarina, and. Scarlett uh, suggested that, um, that there was some, some sexual attention here in the room. And that made, made uh, Grado speculate that, see, I knew it. You two are dating, doing something, you know, have a relationship, whatever. I just, I'm like, this is stupid. I, I'm like, really? You, you go wait, you go waste another um, episode of the Smoke Show for this? And then, uh... And then you you have uh, Hendry and uh, Karina de denying it. And then uh, Hendry was saying to uh, to uh, Grado that yo, we yo, we will play a, a new song. And it's gonna happen. Uh, explain more everything next week or like whatever. I I, I hate this. And then uh, Karina tells uh, Scarlett to uh, not to get to get between her and her boy. And. And then uh, Scarlett uh, thinks that she already has. That's what she said. Yeah, folks, I don't like this at all. I don't like that, uh, that Scarlett Bulldogs is involved with that. I don't like this storyline period when it comes to Grado, Joel Hendry, and um, Katarina. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Whatever. Rich Swan versus Petey Williams. Highlights of the match. Uh, PD with a swing shot call breaker for early on going on the match. Swan goes for a somersault off the apron, but PD moves out of the way, causing Swan to crash and burn on the floor. PD Williams goes for the sharpshooter because they're in Canada and he's Canadian. Uh, but then, yeah, but then Rich Swan makes it to the ropes. Rich Swan, go, you know, he counts the Canadian destroyer and goes for a, a modified Death Valley driver. He goes for the, the standing shooting star press and gets a three count in the win. So it was short to the point. Um, I, don't remember, I don't remember if it was that long, but I'm like, wow. Uh, it, it, this could have been a great match or, or at least a, sto a show stealer type of match. And I, I didn't see it, unfortunately. But whatever. Also, we go backstage. Rich Juan is being, uh, you know, is, is talking about his win. And then also, Matt walks up to him and says that he understands. I mean, I mean he doesn't understand. Uh, you know what it takes to uh, to, to be the exhibition champion in the future. Uh, you know he's basically talking to Rich Swan because Rich Swan wants to become he, he wants the exhibition championship shot. And basically he tells him you know to, uh, he can help him with that. And then Rich Swan refuses um the help. And and also we hear a scream back uh, from, from the background from Alicia that moves was taken now. And you see the X symbol card, you know, on coin card, which Nick Killer Cross, Killer, basically Killer Cross attack moves. So the, ma the match that, um, that, you know, the main event match was supposed to be a tag team match, now ends up being a handicap match, unless Moose is um, clear to, um, to at least try to uh, make it to the end of the match. We'll, we'll get to that part, we'll get to that part um, when, when we get to it. So for now, it's the, world, the, world, the Impact World Champion, Austin Aries and Killer Cross versus Eddie Edwards in a two-on-one handicap match. So the match happens. Aries and Cross beat down on Eddie uh, early on going to the match. Eddie uh, um, bring, you know, builds up momentum. Then Aries with, uh, uh, with, some, uh, with a, back, a backpack stunner, followed by a blue thunder, a blue, a blue thunder bomb. Eddie uh, connects with the um, brain buster, you know, excuse me, a brain buster on, on Aries with a huge uh, suicide dive onto the outside, which uh, at, one, at one point uh, when the Pope was there, D'Angelo De Niro called it the, the shot of caffeine. Uh, Eddie hits uh, Aries with Eddie hits Aries with the, uh, the, the Tiger Bomb. Then Moose shows up. 
he looks like he's um he's beaten up. He looks like he doesn't know where he's at. He's um he's taped up around around uh, around his head. I'm I'm assuming he's on a concussion after what what Kill Cross did to him. He's on an apron, waiting for a tag, right? He gets a tag, and the Austin Aries try to go for a tag for Secure Cross, and Killer Cross jumps off the apron, and Austin Aries is like, what, what what are you doing? What are you doing? Killer Cross is like, you're on your own, and then Moose goes up to um to Aries. He get he gets his hand on there on Aries. And then turns around and he spears Eddie Edwards. Let me let me repeat that. Moose, who came who came who, who was attacked by Killer Cross backstage, which ended up being a handicap match. And the AA was starting to build up some some momentum. Gain some win a uh, win here. Aries goes to attack uh, Killer Cross. Killer Cross jumps off the apron. Moose comes comes out. Uh, I think I mentioned that already. Um, uh, as I'm as I'm trying to explain, I'm trying to explain this. He gets on the apron. He gets attacked by Eddie Edwards. He goes, he goes after Aries. And then he turns around and and spears Eddie Edwards. And then he takes off the um the um the the band off his head. I say, what the fuck is this? And then Aries. A look on surprise, and then Curry Cross gets on an apron. He's like, see? Like, wait a minute, so are you kidding me? Did... What? What? So, wait, this, 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 um, by this, 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 um, diabolical, this diabolical plan was set up by Moose and Killer Cross, and they didn't let Austin Aries know about that? And then A. Edwards gets a, gets a, a beatdown by Killer Cross. Austin Aries and Moose. So basically, Moose turned heel. And Aries you know, takes the referee and tosses him out of the ring. No contest. So you're telling me, after what Moose said back, um, yo, after everything that Moose and A. Aries has been through, yo, they travel together, they're best friends, he, he knows he knows A. Aries and his wife, his wife Alicia, they're, they're like family. He, that's his brother and all that. Kind of promo back, uh, you know, kind of promo uh, earlier on the night, saying that uh, you know, that A. Edwards is, is his brother, his best friend, their family, and and they go take out uh, Aries and Killer Cross, and then we get to this point, and then he turns, and then he turns on Eddie Edwards. Who the fuck wrote this shit? This made, this made no, this made no fucking sense. Why would Moose turn on Eddie Edwards to join up along with Austin Aries? And Killer Cross. After what also Aries did to Moose during the build up for on um, anniversary. You remember the whole promo where Moose said to uh, Aries, um the, remember, payback's a bitch, bitch, and all that after attacking um uh D'Angelo Williams. What the fuck? This made no sense. I I'm sorry, I hated it. I hated the, the heel turn for Moose, it made no sense. I hate that the fact that he's um he's running alongside with Killer Cross and Austin Aries after what they're doing with what they did with Eddie Edwards, especially with Aries and Moose um rivalry from for of uh, anniversary. I'm sorry, this this made no fucking sense. I hated it. I hate I hate I hated everything they did here. And then Alicia Edwards comes out because Eddie Edwards getting beaten up by um by by these three guys, and then Alicia Edwards slaps Moose, and 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 basically they all leave. Uh, basically, Moose gets in the face of Alicia Edwards after that, and then they, and they all three of them leave. By the way, Killer Cross, Austin Aries, and Moose, and then Alicia Edwards attends uh, his husband, Eddie Edwards, who was beaten down, and then the show ends. I fucking hate it, folks. I, are you kidding me? You, you yo, it, it's it's a former WWE creative writer working for Impact Wrestling now. You mean to tell me after everything they did with Moose, being a baby face, getting on the cross behind him, doing the whole the, the Moose chant, Moose, Moose, Moose. Yeah, and he has decided to throw all that away to turn him heel. Against all, uh, to, to of all people, Eddie Edwards, after the promo that he cut about putting him over, that he's his best friend, that, that he's his brother and everything. How, how you gonna try to make this, uh, how, how you gonna try to make this all uh, make sense when Moose Go to the promo of why he what he did what he did. How you how you how you gonna explain that? You did you did all this for Moose for, for uh, you know, being pushed as a baby face. 
in my opinion, this is a waste of my time. Why should I, why now should I invest a, a moose now? After all, after all that build, build, build up, a momentum of giving to moose, after all the shit you, have, you have put moose through, when it comes to the um, American top team, and, and some other shit, um, bullshit you put moose through, and then you finally get him over, uh, you know, what comes to his, you know, everything, um, talking about his background and everything, just for him to turn heel on Eddie Edwards. You have to do it all that way. And you waste, all, and you waste my fucking time for that. I feel like I wasted my time getting behind the, the bandwagon of Moose in Impact Wrestling. Good job, Impact Wrestling. Good job. That was fucking garbage. To all my wrestling for Impact Wrestling, what comes to the um, Impact Redefine re, uh, results, the show from August 30th, 2018, three matches, uh, overall, to, uh, on my wrestling, the total of my wrestling basically, uh, five matches. Again, if you want, if you want to include that one match that was trash I, between Eli Drake and, and Brandon, whoever his last name is, I can't pronounce it. I don't give a fuck really. And before, and, and now, let me, before I get my overall showing for the show, let me just say about this show. This show was supposed to be. A bell to bell type of you know special free pay-per-view TV event, right? That's not what I saw. I saw a regular impact wrestling show. That's what I saw. This didn't feel like a peer-review quality type of type of um event. This is just, just a regular t free TV a uh, uh re regular special episode special edition of Impact Wrestling. That's what it felt like to me. Cause you, cause you had a lot of segments. You had um, garbage segments. You had decent segments. You had, you had promos that I, I did enjoy. You had interviews that I did enjoy. But other than that, you had all these trash segments and a waste uh, and, and a, a segment in the ring that I thought was, uh, it was trash too. It should have been a peer review type of type of quality on uh, free TV type of deal. And guess what? They didn't do it. They, it was just a regular Impact Wrestling show. It, it was just uh, Impact Wrestling presents uh, a, a special a special edition of you know, what comes to of uh, the name Redefiant. That's what it, it felt like to me. So that being said. Four out of ten. And another thing, the whole moose heel turn, Impact Wrestling, fuck you for that. One, two, fuck you. That was fucking trash. And sure, they could they could try to make sense of this, but at the end of the day, y'all can't y'all can't convince me. Y'all can't um make make me um get into the moose heel turn after after everything that moose and was been through. You know, all, you know, for all these years. I don't care if they, if, if they, if, if, you know, I don't care if they're gonna try to make sense of all this with the moose heel turn. There's no way, there's no way in hell you can convince me to, uh, to say, oh, that, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's, uh, that's gonna, uh, get, have me get behind the whole heel turn of moose, uh, what he did to A. Edwards. They could try, but we'll see. We'll see if, if, they, if, they, if it's not happening. But I, I fucking hate it. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Robert Strong Jr., Natural Born Thriller. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And you should have my shot glass, my have my shot glass, but uh, I got a little bit, so take a drink with the Natural Born Thriller. Also, if you enjoy this um, review or not, thumbs up or thumbs down. So it's just yours, yours alone, the right thing to say. You all take care and peace on the streets. Talk to you all soon, but for now, I'm out.